Hey everyone, this is Haley from Cartoon Universe, and I'm finally bringing you guys another Steam Universe analysis video after quite a while. Before I begin the video, I would like to mention that at the end of this video, I'm going to be talking about this video's sponsor, FuzzPix, so stay tuned until then. Enjoy the video! So as you all probably know, Steam Universe finally came back with 6 new episodes recently. And one of the main points of interest that many people have pointed out was how Pearl reacted to trying to inform Steven about very important details regarding her past in Gemcation. I've had it up to here with your nonsense, Pearl. Tell us what's up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But possibly, it's not entirely up to her. Watching her hand in this scene, it's literally silencing her. It's like she has to fight it to say what she wanted to. It's a very strange thing to watch when you pay attention to her hand. It almost seems unnatural, and it's not under her control. And in fact, when going over other episodes, there are quite a few other times where Pearl has done almost the same thing. Now of course nobody really noticed this until now, because it seemed a lot more forced this time around. But I think there could still definitely be something here, and I want to find out what that is. So this is what I want to talk about today, every time Pearl has been witness silencing herself. This will vary from her just putting her hand over her mouth when something bad happens, to her literally preventing herself from speaking like we saw in Gemcation. There may be a connection to this action she sometimes does to something more important in the overall story. Now I know pretty much every channel that talks about seniors has already made some sort of video regarding this, but I thought I would give it a try and give it my own spin as well as my personal thoughts. So let's start. The first few might not have any significance, but as we go further into the list, some patterns do appear. First off, we have Laser Light Cannon. Honestly, almost anything in the beginning of Season 1, I feel a bit iffy about calling intentional, but the crew is known for planting in things way before they have been mentioned, so I'm not going to put it past them. Lars' death and resurrection was actually one of the first things planned for the show, which is pretty crazy. In this instance, Pearl covers her mouth quite a bit after the cannon is fired. Even looking at it now, it's a bit different looking than the others, but I decided to leave this one in anyways. Next is Mirror Gem which occurs midway through the first season. We see that Pearl and the rest of the Crystal Gems are shocked to learn that the mirror has a mind of its own. At this point, it appears that Pearl is covering her mouth and is just a reaction to something surprising happening. Quite a bit later into the first season is Rose's Scabbard, which is definitely a big one on the list. In one of the most emotional scenes in the series thus far, Steven approaches a distraught Pearl who is covering a good portion of her face with her hands. Pearl misses Rose and is most likely feeling overwhelmed with everything that she just learned about her former leader. Rose had secrets not even Pearl knew, potentially causing Pearl to rethink many aspects of her life. But when it comes to Pearl covering her mouth, it has to do with a secret regarding her past that she does know. So this instance doesn't quite fit with our conclusion, but it showing up at an intense moment does make sense. Then there is It Could Have Been Great in Season 2. Pearl shows the Crystal Gems all the plans Homeworld had for Earth, to take all its resources and leave it at a husk of its former self, devoid of all life. This shocks everyone, especially since at this point Peridot does still seem a bit excited about what the Diamonds had planned to do. This is the first time Pearl's gesture has a direct correlation to learning information about the Diamond Authority. Jumping quite a bit into Season 3 is Crack the Whip, where Pearl forgets she had sword practice with Connie. This one definitely has nothing to do with Homeworld or the Diamonds, but didn't want to leave it out just in case. Next is towards the very end of Season 3, Back to the Moon. This is the episode where most people believe what Pearl covering her mouth because she can't say something actually means something. After Eyeball starts explaining what happened to Pink Diamond and how Rose Quartz had something to do with it, we get the reveal that Rose Quartz shattered Pink Diamond. Pearl then turns around in fear and covers her mouth. When this episode aired, I remember a few thinking that Pearl in fact did this, and while it is still technically possible for that to be the case, Pearl reacting in this way may have been more of a reflex than her indicating that she was actually the one to shatter Pink Diamond. Now on to Season 4, and we have Steven's dream. Steven wants the Crystal Gems to explain why there is a palanquin in Buddy's book. He begins to guess it has to do with Pink Diamond, which immediately gets a reaction from Pearl. Even Garnet realizes Pearl has become upset. Pearl is still covering her mouth when Garnet says how Rose never wanted Steven to see where Pink Diamond was shattered. This is when Steven is finally fed up with not getting answers, but it seems when it comes to Pink Diamond, Pearl is the last one to start talking. Now we are going to our final moment in the series, besides the one in Season 5 of course, where Pearl covers her mouth. And this is when Steven voluntarily leaves for Homeworld, since he claimed to be Rose Quartz. Everyone is shocked and Pearl is speechless. 
While that was the final instance besides the one in Gemcation in the actual show, there are a few other things I'd like to talk about. There was this poster by Entertainment Weekly for San Diego Comic Con, showing the Crystal Gems and Blue Diamond and Yellow Diamond. We do have representations for the other two diamonds, however, with pink diamonds being represented by a flower on the bottom of the poster. And this poster, which just so happens to have some form of all the diamonds on it, also happens to have pearl covering her mouth. I don't think it's a coincidence. Finally, which is probably the most obscure instance on the list, is from a senior zine or magazine given out to fans at a convention. If you look closely at the artwork on the back, you can spot an image of Pearl staring at her hands. It appears as if she is beginning to cry while looking at them, almost like they did something she can't believe. Which may lead back to the conclusion of her actually shattering Pink Diamond, but I'm still not sure I believe that just yet. Okay, okay, I was lying about going in order. I actually missed one. The most important one of all. That is the time Pearl covers her mouth in Say Uncle. Obviously this means... <laughs> just kidding, yeah. But with that, all the most notable times that Pearl has covered her mouth have been noted. Now we need to ask, what do many of these moments have in common? Well, Rose Quartz and the diamonds, more specifically Pink Diamond and her shattering. My guess, as with many others, is that Pearl, being a maid to order servant, was created as a gem that is unable to talk about huge secrets regarding the diamonds. This would be a measure the diamonds put in place to make sure that their servants could not betray them by leaking out such sensitive information. I have seen some say that it would be a power of White Diamond that could alter a gem in this manner, and since we don't know about White Diamond's powers yet, I think this is definitely a possibility. Perhaps her covering her mouth has become a natural reaction over time, as it is what she does in emotional situations that have nothing to do with the diamonds. This would lead to the least climactic conclusion in my opinion, but it's perhaps the most logical one after considering all that Pearl has been through. But whatever the case may be, part of Pearl is fighting back against herself telling what really happened to everyone else. Now I then have to wonder, is this something unique to our Pearl? It might not be. Although we have only seen two other Pearls, there is something interesting that could be taken as some symbolism between the three of them. As mentioned many times in this video, Pearl covers her mouth. What about the other two? Well, Blue Pearl covers her eyes because her hair is in the way, and while no gem actually has ears, uh, for this case, let's just say Yellow Pearl is the one substituting for, you know, uh, the ear portion of this symbolism piece. So, uh, getting on to that, this is definitely a stretch, but there is a saying that goes, See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So this would work for each one of the pearls, as our pearl is not allowed to speak of what happened to Pink Diamond, while Blue Pearl is oblivious to all that is going on because her vision is skewed, and finally Yellow Pearl will not listen to any ridicule of the diamonds and thinks of them as perfect beings. So, in some ways, this could be seen as each pearl having a fault. While we do know our pearl is different than the others in many ways, this one does stand out at the moment. Maybe one day all the pearls that were owned by the diamonds will work together and become more than just servants. So that wraps up my analysis video for today. But as promised at the beginning of the video, I'm going to talk about the app FuzzPix. So can you guess who this is? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, as any Steam Years fan should know, this is Opal. This is an example of a game on FuzzPix, a new app that definitely reminds me of Words with Friends, but with pictures. If you love playing games with your close friends, then FuzzPix is a great way to challenge others to test your quick thinking skills. So let's go through a quick process of making the game. Choose your difficulty, the optional prize, the number of rounds, and your filter. For this one, I'm going to choose the advanced filter, the draft one. Uh, these ones are pretty cool since they function a bit differently than the normal filters, which I'll show you in a second. Moving on, we can choose the pictures and give each one a hint, an answer, and an alternate answer. I'm going to put in some seniors pictures, of course. The possibilities are truly endless. Finally, you can add players to a game from your friends list, or you can add a new contact from their phone number. Then you wait in suspense as all your friends face each other to see who the best guesser is. Fuzzpix gives them 36 hours to play each game, and once the game is finished, one person will emerge as the winner. You can view how each game went for the winner and where they won. There's a lot of cool other features that can be purchased, like the animal filters or the hard mode. Fuzzpix can be downloaded for iPhone and Android devices. Have fun playing! And thanks for checking out this video. If you like this one, feel free to subscribe and check out our other Seniors Analysis videos. I have another Seniors video coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. 
Thanks for watching.